Bless up, bless up my people. Welcome back to the channel. It's a girl and Isabel Rose. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the post notification bell on. Put it on all so you won't miss an upload from me. So we have a few million of us in Jamaica. Uh, today, uh, we're going to see a hurricane moving in. With that said, that also means we're going to see a few million people, awesome people, helping each other out. Please, please think of others uh, going through something uh, like this. Uh, so if anyone's alone, uh, maybe we could check on them early this morning before the worst weather moves in. Maybe maybe take them in. So let's get to the latest on this. Winds right now, 145 miles per hour or 235 kilometers an hour. It is moving to the west-northwest at about 20 miles per hour or 32 kilometers an hour. So that's not necessarily slow. That's a good thing. Keeps moving. I do expect further weakening. Uh, and I want to say that with caution. It's going to weaken some before it moves in today. That's all relative. This thing was a cat five down to a cat four. It should be a cat two or category three major hurricane as it impacts Jamaica today and then makes its way toward the Cayman Islands. You can see it here and I'm not losing sight of the Dominican Republic and especially Haiti. Just like we talked about yesterday, very heavy rain south side of uh, Haiti watching those river crossings. We're going to see runoff. We're going to see some extreme flooding if you're in Haiti. Keep me posted as we go throughout the day, even back toward parts of the DR with some of the uh, rain that is moving in. But on track and you can see it here. It stayed south of Puerto Rico uh, moving toward Jamaica. This blob here moving into Barbados still not organized. I don't lose sight of that either. Uh, that's an area of disturbed weather. I'm not seeing development out of that, but that is going to bring some increased rain to the eastern Caribbean. So I want to track where this is going next, the winds we can expect and what we could expect uh, going forward as I break it down island by island, uh, country by country, all locations matter. But Jamaica, uh, we really need to be in place today. Now at ahead of it. We've had some rain overnight, been up overnight watching everything. It's called a predecessor rain event. Sometimes you get a batch of rain breaking free. So if you've had some rain in Jamaica, again, that's not the main action. Of course, it's back here, but be in place in uh, Jamaica as we go throughout the day. Of course, thinking of others, Cayman Islands by sunset, if not earlier, especially Grand Cayman. That's where we're going to see some of the uh, bigger impacts moving in. And then this will eventually move toward parts of Mexico on a break down the Yucatan and over toward Belize. Breaking down the winds and I'm kind of on the uh, uh, worst case scenario here, the, the high side uh, to keep you prepped. Uh, you can see the winds here uh, moving in later today. So uh, eastern end, especially southeastern end toward uh, Kingston, winds of 110 miles per hour are possible. That would be 180 kilometers an hour just north of there. 100 mile per hour winds possible. Hoping it's less. Always hoping it's less. I don't like hurricanes. Don't wish them on anyone, and I know you don't either. Uh, 160 kilometers an hour. As you get toward, uh, say, Falmouth, Montego Bay, winds will be near 80 miles per hour or 130 kilometers an hour. And as you get toward uh, Black River, down through uh, Treasure Beach, 90 miles per hour or 145 kilometers an hour. Uh, plus, on top of the winds, we're dealing with a surge coming this way, winds on the backside coming this way, all sorts of problems all around us. The winds are going to be shifting throughout the day, and that means we're going to have that surge. That's the rise in the water. That's going to cause those issues in the coastal flooding along our coast. So here's the very latest. I was showing you those winds earlier, 145 uh, miles per hour, 235 kilometers an hour. The next advisory, actually next couple that come out, we should see the winds going down a little bit, so on track. I don't do a video every day. I'm not here to add to the drama. You could subscribe or, or not subscribe. I'm here to put out the accurate information so you can stay safe. The video, for example, I had yesterday, the forecast is holding, so I'm not gonna add to the drama. Uh, don't do this for money. I don't have sponsors or anything like that. You can see Jamaica, Cayman Islands, we're under those hurricane warnings. We now have that hurricane uh, watch that is up here uh, for the Yucatan uh, down into a northern, uh, or right where uh, we hit Belize. And then down through uh, northern Belize, we have tropical storm watches in effect. I'll, I'll get into that angle. Now, eventually, this will hit the Bay of Campeche. I do expect it to re-strengthen into a hurricane and move toward Mexico or Texas long-term with this. So as it stands right now, this is a Category 4 hurricane, as I mentioned, moving into Jamaica later today as a Category 3, and then eventually should be downgraded to a Category uh, 2. But downgrade, it's all, all relative. We're dealing with a powerful hurricane, so a major hurricane that will be working in later today in Jamaica, especially as we head toward the afternoon. I'll zoom down in a second. 
Here are those computer models, and these are just thin lines. You see how they are, the thin line is south of Jamaica barely, uh, but the size of this, it's huge, as you know, as we've seen. So again, this is going to encompass Jamaica. We're all going to get those hurricane impacts in Jamaica. Then this will head toward the Yucatan south side. That's going to clip us with some tropical storm conditions in Belize. And I do believe this is going to get pulled to the north as it strengthens. Things that like to that things that spin more uh, get pulled more to the north if there's nothing blocking it. And I believe we'll see this kind of swinging up toward northeastern Mexico once again, where we had Alberto moving in or to the north back toward Texas. This could very well swing up toward Texas. Show you that with the European model in just a second. So it's category four. These are those squiggly lines. Uh, as we get into later today, it'll be a category three. So you'll hear about that. We've got that major hurricane moving in. Then it'll go down a little bit further. Further. Of course, land interaction is key. As this moves across Jamaica for us, that's going to help weaken it uh, some going across the uh, LAM. And then a little bump up in a few days. That's because once it gets into the western Gulf Bay of Campeche, I do expect it to uh, uh, re-strengthen. So here's one of the looks, and then I want to zoom down in a moment. So here we are in Haiti, still some rain bands working in. Jamaica by 2 o'clock, some of the worst weather's moving in. Here we are in the Cayman Islands, our smaller islands, our big island here. In Cuba, we'll see some of the rain on the eastern end moving in. This will work its way by tonight, start to pull out of uh, Jamaica, but we're still going to get the rain bands on the back side. More on that in a second. And then this will start to work into the Cayman Islands tonight. That's why sunset. You need to be in place. Be where you need to be for this storm in the Cayman Islands. Worst weather toward Grand Cayman. Some tropical storm winds as you get to the uh, north or northern islands. Uh, Little Cayman, for example, 85 miles away from our big island, Grand Cayman, or 135 kilometers away. So that's going to make a big difference in some of the impacts. We'll go from hurricane conditions in the big island uh, to tropical storm conditions in the uh, smaller island islands as we work our way into the Cayman Islands. So this is 2 o'clock today. Right there, that is the center of this. Right in here is the center of, uh, of barrels. So we're going to see the heaviest weather working in, the hurricane conditions, major hurricane. Should be a Cat 3 at this point. Kingston, uh, Morant Bay, and then as we pull forward, here's the center of this. I made over three grand a day on Amazon. And if I lost it all and had to rebuild in today's AI age, here's exactly what right near Treasure Beach. This is at four o'clock today. So uh, Easter or rather Western end later in the day, the conditions are going to be awful. Please stay, stay inside. Now the center, that's not the center there. That's some of the land interaction. The center will pull offshore by seven o'clock, but hurricane conditions, especially in our Western end up toward Falmouth, you can see here, this is 7 p.m. And then as this pulls away by 10, yes, the core of it starts to work our way. That's good. But on the backside, it's still going to wrap in some bands of rain and storms. So even as we head toward tonight in Jamaica, please, please uh, use caution. Best to stay inside if you can. We're still going to get some tropical storm conditions for tonight. So hurricane today, tropical storm conditions for tonight. Kilometers an hour and miles per hour on this uh, map, but more so this is a computer model. It doesn't do the best job. I just really want to show you the circulation here uh, working into Jamaica today. This is two o'clock. We have that hurricane moving in, maybe a direct hit if the eye uh, passes right on top of us, which is possible, or the eye would be just to the south. But that's going to wrap in some of the worst weather of this uh, hurricane. Hurricanes moving across. This is five o'clock today. Backside We'll start to see the winds coming out of the north on, on our northern coast. That's going to bring in the surge and increase the winds. And then you see the core of the winds working toward the Cayman Islands by tonight. Backside of this, though, we still have tropical storm force winds in Jamaica as we <clears throat> excuse me get into tonight. And then you can see this working its way toward the Cayman Islands. Uh, here is uh, Grand Cayman. Then you get over toward our smaller islands. This is by 11 o'clock tonight. Hurricane conditions uh, over toward Grand Cayman tonight. And then tropical storm conditions up to the north. This is overnight. We'll get some of the worst weather for the Cayman Islands. Six in the morning, still Grand Cayman tomorrow morning. We're going to be dealing with some hurricane and tropical storm impacts. And then eventually it'll start to uh, slide away as we hit nine o'clock. Still some tropical storm conditions in Grand Cayman, nine o'clock tomorrow morning. But then we'll see things starting to improve. Of course, uh, watching the surge, the coastal uh, flooding. We're going to see that uh, flooding, uh, no doubt, as we get toward uh, the uh, Cayman Islands. So here's the here's the broader picture. Here's that blob there. 
My friends in St. Lucia, St. Vincent the Grenadines, Dominica, uh, Grenada, uh, Barbados will see some extra rain around. Not seeing any organization out of that. Hoping some of the rain can lift up toward Antigua and Barbuda uh, since we need some rain passing shower in, in Anguilla. But here is this. So this is later uh, into the, uh, we're going to get later into the week. This is 1 o'clock tomorrow. See the impacts in the Cayman Islands, but starting to move away. Now here's Belize. That shift we saw a couple days ago, and I was talking about yesterday, is helping out Belize. It looks like hurricane conditions will move in to uh, the Yucatan of Mexico. Tropical storm conditions just trying to clip northern Belize. Uh, but we'll also see if this, if the eye of this, if the center of this moves right over Jamaica, that's going to weaken it further. And of course, that means uh, we'll see uh, extra weakening, and it may not be as strong as it gets toward the Yucatan. But once this gets into the Gulf of Mexico and Bay of Campeche, water temperatures, again, very warm, even though we've had a couple systems there, Alberto and Chris there, this is going to start to pull up to the north and restrain them. So again, Texas, Northeast Mexico, this is going to get pulled to the north. Not exactly uh, sure how far and exactly where, but that's going to lift up to the north and watching other batches of rain.